Well, actually, I've, uh, I'm, I've actually, um, I didn't expect the market to be this high at this time of the year. You know? I knew the market was going to go up from 6,100, but I, did, I never expected 7, 8. Uh, I think we're being helped by some foreign funds that are coming in. Like in the last two weeks, they've already bought like, I think, 12 billion just in the last two weeks. Um, so yeah, the market's kind of high right now, and yeah, maybe 8,000 is a possibility in the next couple of weeks. Um, we're, I think we're having problems putting up the charts right now, yeah. but let's take a look at one of the uh, big performers. Uh, Monday, we had Now Corporation. Now, yeah. now Corporation has rallied 30% for the past two days, and we're looking at the 414% year-to-date gains. Now, we're seeing it, you know, we had, it had a big jump for Monday. How do you see it? Do you see this breaking out? Well, technically speaking, well, the, the chart, uh, well, the, the, the stock is currently in a make or break situation right now. You know, if it, it could take out that four peso level, then maybe it could continue to trend higher. But uh, of course, fundamentally, the market is just, you know, speculating that the company will eventually become a major player in the broadband industry. A possible third telco player? Yeah, but uh, it's still very speculative at this point. So it's a make or break for now corporation for today. I, I mean, yeah, in the short term, I mean, you know, in the short term, if it takes out four, then who knows, it could go to 450 or five. But if it holds below four, then it might uh, correct back down again. Now, we also wanted to take a look at SM Prime because, yeah. you know, with news that Hansi, you know, surprise move to step down. And we have uh, passing on the reins to Jeffrey Lim, their CFO, you know, looking at professionalizing the company. Yeah. It's at an all-time high at 28 pesos and 10 centavos, 29% uh, year to date. How are you looking at SM Prime? Well, I think uh, the market uh, views uh, Jeffrey Lim as a very reputable and capable guy. Uh, uh, who's going to lead SM Prime moving forward. But uh, I don't think the, the news is uh, what's driving SM Prime to new highs at the moment. I think it's more of funds are shifting from the, like, from the telecom industry, maybe underweighting the telecom and maybe uh, overweighting companies like SM Prime. Moving to the property sector. Right. Now, Semex. So we have the, we're waiting for the final price for Semex to come in, the second IPO. How are you? Are you well, going to be buying they already, Semex? Yeah, I think they already placed a 1075 uh, IPO price. Yeah. So are you looking to buy Semex stocks? Uh, I'm not too bullish. Well, it's not bearish either, but you know, I think it's fairly priced. Uh, I think uh, if it grows 30% income this year, it's it's going to be trading at about 20 times P, which is just uh, like what the whole market is doing. Uh, it's not a very light stock, unlike HVN, so it's quite heavy. You know, uh, I think they they gave out about 30 million pesos worth per broker as allocation to brokers. No, so it's quite a heavy stock. So yeah, it might go higher, uh, but uh, I'm not uh, I'm not really that excited about it. Okay, so let's talk about stocks you're excited about. What are yeah. your stock picks for the second half of the year? Well, I'm still bullish on uh, the likes of Felix. Uh, I've been bullish for Felix for quite some time now. I think uh, gold is still going to hit 1500 over the next couple of weeks. Uh, so I'm bullish on Felix. I like the likes of uh, the small banks like PNB and RCBC. I think they're trading very cheap. PNB. Yeah, a lot of analysts seem to be favoring the banking stocks right now. Why is yeah. that? Uh, well, particularly the small banks because they're quite cheap. Uh, PNB in particular, they made 2.5 billion in the first quarter, which is double last year's income. And there's, you know, there's been rumors of possible mergers for PNB, so that could be a good stock to look at. Uh, on the speculative side, I'm looking at cyber. Uh, it's been quite, it's been moving quite bullish recently. It's uh, bullishly holding above that 60 cents level and. I think uh, the market is speculating that maybe Ramon Ang has something uh, up his sleeve. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, in cyber. Right? Doesn't he always have one up his sleeve? Right. Thank you so much, Miko, for all your stock picks. Right.